This is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Single. Being single. Some say being single is the worst thing in the world. That having no one there makes your life worth less, basically. Because there's no one there. The thing is, we can always we can always shame people for being single. But we can't actually make them feel bad for not having anyone in their life. Yes, you can shame someone, yet you have no one in your life, but to make them feel bad simply because they don't have a partner is actually ridiculous. First of all, the guarantee of a partner doesn't work the same way for everyone. Yes, some can get a partner easier than others. So for some, it's easier. For others, it's more difficult. For some, even when they get the partner, it's the problems they have with the partner, the other person, the woman in question. So being single is not something that everyone wants to do. Some are single not of their own choice. Some are single because of their own choice. They never want to go back and they've been through so much with women. It's, my God, they've had more than enough. The point with my waffling is never let anyone shame you for choosing to live a single life and be single. And the thing about being single is men have more opportunities men have more opportunities being single than being locked down or tied down in being single you can be everything else the boyfriend the husband the father but when you're already tied down to one of those things it's not that easy to then become one again and who would want to that's just more baggage more pressure more stress we can see currently the world is very is stressed out a lot of people are stressed a lot of jobs have been lost. Lots of people are scared as to what may happen next. Many people are lonely, but they can't cope with it. They're lost in their loneliness. They're not single and alone. They're lonely as well. They feel the pang of no one else being there. But there are so many benefits to being a single person, being a single man in this world, especially nowadays in 2020, in OnlyFans 2020. It does it does make sense to be a single man where you can see the crap and know how to avoid it better where you can choose to be a monk or you can look for a wife if you want to if you want to take that risk and hope for the best because you will hope for the best in this world right now single men will get shamed because you have to always be in pursuit of women if you're not something's wrong with you or they say something's wrong with you what's amazing things have been done throughout history by men who have had their peace and their solitude that is one thing many women can't actually give us peace and solitude so in being single many men have developed and built so much to their lives that no woman could compare to it like for instance so many men have shifted their lives and their being completely to another level to another level without a woman Many of those men know if they did have a woman or if they have a woman now, she may reduce that or bring that down because of how much you would have to do to cater to her. And that's uh, it's a lot of work for what some would see as nothing. Single men have an ultimate freedom. A freedom you can't compare to. You can't compare being free and single. You can't compare being a free and single man who can make his own decisions and think whatever he wants to think. You can't compare that to a married man and say both of these men are the most focused they are right now. You can say one is, the other one, the other one has to cater to his woman, his wife. He will never be as accurate as a single focused man without any baggage. You see, you see far too often in this world, we as men, we manage to acquire baggage. Baggage of our own baggage. But the thing is as well, it's how we would pick up a woman who has baggage as well. Then we take on her baggage and her responsibilities. Many men have found that being by themselves, they need not worry about other people's baggage, another woman's baggage. They do come with a lot. They do require a lot, like maintenance in some cases for some women. So in just being single... In just not having to focus on finding a woman or catering to a woman, many men actually have better lives. They can actually live 
better lives. They can actually feel better. They feel good. They don't feel down or let down or down about themselves or depressed so often because of someone else. No, if they do so, it's because of them. But the point is, they don't have anyone else there that would do that to them, that has the ability to do that to them. It's so freeing being single. There are certain things one would think of doing in their lives that it's difficult to do with, with someone else there. Someone strapped to you, tied to you, holding you back and holding you down. But when you are free and the world is yours, you can do whatever you want to do. You can travel, work on your craft, build something, develop something, learn new skills, get further education, do many things to improve your life beyond your chase for a woman. Some men have no choice in this world but to be single. They don't have the, let's say, flair of conversation. They may not have the looks or the money or whatever it, ta or whatever it takes to land a woman. So for many men, being single is their only option. Now, some men are bitter because of this and they may want to have the experience of a woman. But the thing is, like I've said before, it doesn't matter about the woman. You as a man should learn to live as a single man by yourself, regardless of the woman. You should learn to be able to be that powerful by yourself. Learn to be so self-sufficient. Do everything for yourself. Understand, yes, you want the companionship of a woman. You want someone to be there so you can talk to and share your feelings with. But if you're a man stuck in the position where that's not a possibility, do not waste your life trying to make it so. Do not waste your life trying to be someone else for someone else. Be the best person you can be for you. That does not mean to be sloppy, lazy. That does not mean to give up on life, give up on your life and the things you want to do. It just, it means to live life more. Do not, do not surround your focus on life around women. It will get you nowhere. Especially if you're in the position of not being able to get one anyway, because it's going to be difficult for you anyway. You might as well focus on things that are better. And even if you can get the woman, even if getting the woman's not a problem, you can get as many women as you so choose in a certain amount of time. You're good. Whatever. But the point is, you should still learn the power and joy, the tranquility of being a single man. There's no comparison to being single. Obviously, because, you know, you're by yourself. But there's no comparison to being single. There's a certain level of clarity and thought. A certain level of self-improvement one can get. Only by themselves, I believe. And I believe there is a certain level that many men could get to. But they fail to reach that level simply because they are so lost and trapped within their desire. Even when they have the woman or not, they are just so compelled by their desire that they would just focus on this entirely and miss all the joy of being a free single focused man you see the world could sh you see the world will shame you tell you you're lacking this or lacking that because you want to be single because you want to be free but to understand this they have to shame someone that brings so much to the table because you being single means you're taking resources away from society, away from the hands of women. You're taking the power out of their hands. And as we can see, as men, we can see how they want the power. Even when they say they don't want it, we can see how much they want the power. There are certain things in this world that will never change. But in order to make a change of certain things, some men have to walk away. They have to walk away from the nonsense, the noise, the headache, the higher demands with no rewards. Men have to walk away en masse in order to make a change. Whether you want to make a change or you don't even care, understand the power of being a single man. Where well, your life is yours and yours alone. Being single means you have opportunities. You could be so much more if you wanted to. But do not for a second believe that in being single, it means you're lacking something. You're less than because you're single. Being single is one of the most opportunistic positions 
a man could be in this world, simply because he could be so much more. In other words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.